tubes. Uh, this is that Craftsman lawnmower with a Honda engine I picked up for free. Um, its wheel bearings were all whacked and it didn't run any leak gas. Well, it, it runs and no longer leaks gas, but the wheel bearings for the front for the drive wheels were all messed up. If you look at this one, this is the old one. See how that big chunk's missing? Here's some uh, new ones here that I picked up off of Amazon. Um, uh, this is the part number. I think that that's the part number there. Now there is also another one where instead of ending in uh, one, it ends in two. And that also will work. But if you try to, if you look up what it is just for this part, I mean, for the wheel bearing part, they want you to buy the whole assembly, which is on back order. And they don't list just the wheel, this wheel bearing part. Uh, through some research, I found a good video from a YouTuber, Eliminator Performance. I'll put a link to the video uh, here. Um, at this, describe this. And in that, I found some comments and the actual uh, part number for it. And I went ahead and ordered this part. Uh, in the in later performances video, it was a Husqvarna all-wheel drive and he was doing it on the rear. However, this bearing should fit any drive wheel that's operated off of the self-propelled system. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to install it. Uh, actually, I've got this one here, I've already taken it out. And on this side, I've got the before, when you, when you just take the wheel off, what it looks like. So, what you first take the wheel off, you've got, let me get uh, here. Sorry, I'm trying to zoom in here. You've got this, um, uh, what is it called? Snap ring here. You pay, take that out with your snap ring pliers. You can get a small screwdriver and then this, this will come out. What you will get then is it'll, um, you'll get inside, uh, you'll get an axle in there and then you can slide out. Um, you see, yeah, you can slide. I mean, uh, you can slide, you, you get to it. Now, there'll, be, there'll probably be one of these, these O-rings to help hold it in place. And you'll, you can get to uh, this. And in here, you've got a pin that goes in. It only goes in one, um, okay. That pin helps, makes this thing move. And this has a cutout for it, so it goes in like that. Well, there's supposed to be a bear. There has to be a bearing here, uh, which is this, that lets it rotate. And if the bearing goes because of whatever got in there, it'll break this. It's actually probably a poor design. These bearings should not be visible like that. They should be sealed. Um, I think what they try to do is just uh, put like an O-ring or something and it didn't work. Um, so there's a big, a lot of these are out there that have problems. So let's go ahead and let's get this installed. Um, I took it out. Well, it's got this other snap ring that holds it in here and that needs to be, uh, I, I need to put that one, uh, put it in the other side because it's missing. I think I found one uh, that popped out somewhere. So I'll have to, basically take it out again on the other side and put the snap ring in which I might have to just take off the whole front axle. The better way to do it is to take just take this off the machine it's a couple 7 16 bolts which I have somewhere down here on the floor yeah they screw in bolt in and then you can get the old Bear, uh, this whole thing will come off and you can get the old bearing out 
take off the rubber o-ring put the rubber o-ring back on stick this in like this okay like that and then we put this back onto the machine. So I gotta do that to the other side, but I actually have to put on this snap ring here on that back side. Now, I don't have snap ring pliers, so I'm going to have to do this uh, with some creative tools. I'm gonna try, and, and wear gloves, because you might pin, is uh, I'm gonna just put this over this. And I do have a pick here. And I can try to, you know, I can try to get this started and kind of, kind of get it over, over this uh, item. And got, I got it in there. Uh, after I got in there, I um, used the pick. Uh, this pick. Grandpa, it was his, and uh, thank you, and a small flat screwdriver and a hammer to kind of tap it in, and now that bearing is solid. I'm gonna have to repeat the process to redo what I did on the other side. Again, Let's see if I can get this one on. Now that we've rebuilt the wheel adjuster by putting the bearing in, we've got the snap ring in here, followed by the adjuster here, and you've got an o-ring you got the new bearing and there is a the snap ring is holding it tight so now the next thing is we need to um, put the wheel adjuster attach it back to the mower with these for these bolts here uh, there are seven sixteenths and I have them around here somewhere yeah. Now, got to put dust cover on. Followed by, now this is going to be difficult because it's already on, you know, on the other side, so. trouble getting me this enough room so I could stick this pin in. What I did was Mr. Persuasion, two and a half pound hammer, bang the deck in a little bit so it could uh, uh, get more room so I could uh, put this in. I might have to, there we go. Let's see, is that one of these sides? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. So, okay, I've got this in now. So, let me just take a punch and. Okay, now that we've got them both in, 
that's the hard part. Now we put this on dust covers. I'm not gonna make that, that mistake again. The pin's already here, so we put uh, this in gear. And now we have more room here to put in the snap ring. Where I couldn't even, I could barely even see the groove. Now I can really see it. So now all we need to do is just, well, easier said than done, but it's a, it looks, it's going to be a lot easier this time. Ouch. Well, easier said than done, but I couldn't even see the groove where this goes before. I think, uh, let me see. Now I gotta take my hammer and just. this in there we go and we're in business now it's just a matter of putting on the wheels get the snap rings back on but again if you will look up for this model that 9173706601 and you try to find just the bearing you cannot buy it uh, at least not off the part lookup sites like e-replacement parts or parts tree or whatever they want you to buy the whole adjuster assembly where that bearing is already pre-installed and it's on back order right now if you just need the bearing and you want to take it apart and press it press in a new bearing this is the part number for it that's the, uh you can also the also the one with the Ends in 202 is also acceptable. That's like the uh, a newer version of the same bearing. Um, and there's the other number there, that 421-1836 is the Craftsman number. But this bearing will fit Husqvarna or Craftsman's that are made by Husqvarna. How you know if it's made by Husqvarna is the prefix of the model number starts with 917. So. That's how you put it in. It, it, it can be a little tricky. I had to bend the deck a little bit with uh, Mr. Persuasion, a two and a half pound hammer, to bend it a little bit to get enough room to put the um, snap rings back in. And it's a, it works now. I, uh, I'll give you a final look at this. I just topped off the oil and it's got a good air, air filter. And I cleaned the carburetor and uh, replaced one of the fuel lines. Let me get you over what I did to this. I first cleaned out the carburetor and added a uh, some new fuel line to it because it was cracked. Uh, sharpened the blade, topped off the oil, air filter was good, and I added um, two new wheel bearings to the front wheels. Um, the part number will be in the description and a link to Eliminator Performance's video that describes this bearing and how uh, it's hard to find on the look, uh, parts site. Uh, the particular one he was dealing with was a real wheel drive Husqvarna Actually, it was real hot wheel drive, but it was dealing with the rear wheels. I deal dealing with the front wheels here. So here's your final look and start. I'm sure, still got to choke it. Maybe. Um, the previous owner had uh, was was put it on my tape, and it was uh, the, the really the um, front axle adjuster probably should be replaced on the one side, but it's it's fine. It'll work. It'll be good. Till next time, too. See you later.